Hey house guests, welcome to today's Big Brother 19 updates and spoilers. Our house guest of the day is Angel Gordon. Angel, thank you so much for your support. We really, really, really appreciate it. And if you guys want to be house guests of the day like Angel, check out our Patreon link in the info box below. Alrighty, so last night, if you guys missed it, uh, Jessica was evicted by a vote of 7 to 1. That one was Cody who voted for Raven. Elena received zero votes. And then after that, Alex won the HOH competition, and what do you know, it had nothing to do with the sound effects that Big Brother's been playing over the loudspeakers all week. I love that. I do think that it's going to be for a future competition. Um, I don't know, maybe the TC, maybe the POV. Wouldn't it be funny if it was actually for next week's HOH? Because they got to accumulate enough sounds so that it's not super easy for them to remember all of them, right? But anyway... When the feeds return, everyone is celebrating except for Cody, who's already setting up camp in the have not room. <laughs> so <laughs> they're all talking about Jess's goodbye speech. I guess they were a little bit affected by it, huh? So Paul is saying she called everybody idiots, but she didn't even make jury. Um, last time I checked, you can be an idiot and make it to jury. That's not like related. And you could be an idiot and not make it to jury. Like it, it's not does not correlate but anyway um yeah he loves the name mr friendship and he wants everyone to call him that he thinks it's hilarious so all season we've been seeing whenever somebody actually calls out paul for like being a puppet master he says it to everybody as like a joke and they're all like ah, ha, ha, ha. that's so funny remember with like the big fight uh when jess was telling him to control his dogs or whatever and he was like yeah they're all my dogs and raven was literally like barking and making a joke of it but it's true it's true so <laughs> he is pissed however that jess called him out when he didn't have an opportunity to respond because you're not really supposed to interrupt somebody when they're giving their eviction speech all right so then christmas is telling josh like forrest gump was a war hero he's great he's awesome <laughs> i love tom hanks but anyway <laughs> josh uh, is yelling about how he was going to play nice, and then she made that speech, and now he's not going to play nice. Ugh, I don't want to hear the circus song anymore. It's too much. So he's banging his magician wand on the counter that he was uh, holding during the HOH competition, and everybody's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So then Raven is crabbing about Cody voting her out, and she's like, F you, Cody, F you. And she's saying, like, he was supposed to be... He was saying that he was going to be the most loyal to her and never vote her out. And that was, like, in the very beginning of the game. But, like, that is long gone. Seriously, though, was she really expecting him to not vote for her? Number one, he's not going to vote for Jess, obviously. And why would he vote for Elena over Raven when Raven has done literally nothing for him? It's crazy. But anyway, they all start chanting, Tiger! Tiger, Tiger, to celebrate Alex's win, and uh, Raven mentions to everybody that Cody has already moved into the have-not room, and Paul's asking Josh, like, hey, you willing to be a have-not this week? So he can really bother Cody, and Josh is like, yes, let the circus begin, and he says, it's okay, though, it's, it's not a petty thing, he's not being petty. <laughs> I don't know, it sounds pretty petty to me petty paul but anyway cody decides to go and get some food in the kitchen he passes alex in the hallway on the way there he congratulates her she says thank you and then when she's in the other room she's like oh, that was so awkward was it okay um so nobody acknowledges cody when he's in the kitchen but to be fair he doesn't really try to talk to anybody either so it's not like he was like hey guys and they were just like it was a mutual non-acknowledgement moment so um, even though they weren't talking to him, Josh was talking very loudly about how Jess is going to feel like an idiot when she watches everything back and blah, 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 and she made it personal. So he is talking crap about Jess while Cody's right there, um, but Cody is not paying any attention to it. And something tells me that Jess is not going to feel like an idiot when she watches this back. I don't think she, uh, regrets anything. So anyway... After Cody leaves the room, Josh is saying he's going to fire shots at Cody all week. And Paul is saying, well, I'm going to study the sound effects like it's for a final exam. And he tells Josh that his job is to make sure that one person, meaning Cody, can't study this week. Ah, I thought we were over this. I thought we were past this, but apparently we're not. Okay, so 
Kevin, Jason, and Josh were in the money bedroom, and Josh is asking them, do you guys think I'm slow? <laughs> And they say, no, what? Come on, they wouldn't put you on this show. Um, so then <laughs> Josh is saying he's going to be doing his circus thing and calling Cody and Meatball all week. Just let him do his thing. He's not going to make any personal attacks. It's fine. So then he reveals to them that Big Brother told him not to say a word to Cody because they're worried that he's going to get physical and then Cody would have to leave and then their numbers are going to be all screwed up. And... <laughs> They didn't say that part, but I mean like that's why they don't want him to leave, right? Because things are gonna be messed up. So Josh is like, it's fine. I'm gonna do my thing and it's gonna be great. And then he says, he's just excited that he made it to jury. I am not excited that that's like the new thing. Everybody is always like, I just want to make it to jury, then I don't care. I wish that they would shake it up somehow so that that wasn't like a guarantee. I don't know. What do you guys think? I just think it's ridiculous that people go in there with that mindset now. It's just, it's annoying. It's really annoying. So then, Josh goes back to the kitchen to talk more crap about Jess. And I thought he was going to make it personal. And she's also not there to defend herself. But he's like, yeah, she's just serving bottles and I own a successful business. I'm just curious what Josh's business actually is. I know it says like hair care sales or something, but like, what does that mean? She just said that it's, a, it's an eBay store. I saw that somewhere too, but I don't know if that's legit. Is that is it just he has an eBay store? Let me know in the comments if you know. So also in the kitchen, Raven is still complaining about Cody voting against her. Oh my god! Okay, so back to the money bedroom. Paul joins Jason and Kevin, and he's asking Kevin, do you really believe now that Cody wouldn't have targeted me if he won HOH? And he's like, told you so basically he's saying that he didn't actually say it but um he's saying yeah jess's speech shows that he would have come after me because she called me out as the biggest target in in the whole house all right so then it gets a little bit more lighthearted. jason and kevin are laughing about how much they suck at competitions all night jason kept saying i'm gonna get out of this house and there's gonna be t-shirts for sale with Alex holding a baby version of me because <laughs> she's just like carrying me along and the amount of times I he said it I feel like he just really wants somebody to make that shirt so that it's out there that would be a pretty funny shirt but anyway um Alex joins them and she's telling Paul that Raven said let me win during the competition and Alex just pretended that she didn't hear it <laughs> I can't believe that she was like let me win that's ridiculous so then they talk about what has to happen this week. Paul says that somebody's going to have to volunteer to throw the temptation competition so that Cody can't. I'm really surprised that Paul thinks that Cody is going to try to throw it when he could just try to win it. But Paul thinks that it's more likely that he would want to throw it and guarantee himself a spot in the Power Vita competition. I guess he figures... Um, oh, here's what it was. He said he would have like a 1 in 10 chance of winning the Temptation competition because, again, Paul wants everybody to compete except for like Christmas and Alex. But then if he's guaranteed a spot in POV, it's only a 1 in 6 chance. Like, you know what I mean? Like his odds are going to be a lot better to win that Power Veto than it would be to win the TC. That's his thinking. Uh, but they want to take away his chance to play in the Power Veto. So they want to get somebody else to throw it and they're going to be guaranteed a spot. All right, so then they're talking about nominations, and Paul asks Alex, uh, who are you putting up as long as it's okay with me? So <laughs> Alex says, Matt and Elena, uh, they just have to talk to them and convince them, shouldn't be a big deal. Paul approves of this for now. Okay, so then, this is really weird. Cody was in the shower at one point, and for some reason, Josh walks over to Cody's bed in the have-not room and just like starts looking around and like checking things out. What the hell are you doing? We don't know because then the feeds went down for Jess's eviction interview. And earlier in the day, Jeff Schroeder tweeted that he's not going to be doing the interviews anymore because of scheduling conflicts. Is that for real? Or did he get fired? I don't know. But whatever. So then, <laughs> um, the interviews now, it's just the evicted house guests reading the questions off an, of an iPad. So... Jess was doing that, and she said that she already misses Cody. She wants to punch Alex in the face for her goodbye message, and <laughs> that's that. So after 10 minutes or so of Jess' interview, the feeds are back on the house, and we've got Matt and Raven talking in the kitchen. Raven's upset that she lost the HOH, 
and she is still complaining about Cody voting for her because he gave his word that he'd never vote her out and then they're talking about how they have only told three baby lies in this game. Yeah, because you're not even playing! Matt was like, I haven't given my word to anybody for anything except for like this one time I gave it to Christmas, but like whatever. <laughs> so sad. So then Raven is saying, I have two hearts. It's hard to lie. Uh, moving on. Big Brother continues to play the sound effects over the loudspeakers. And at this point, they're just replays of ones they've already heard. I don't think they're getting any more new ones. I think it's just uh, repeats that's going to make it more confusing when they're studying. Because they're like, wait, what? So, that's fun. And then... Jason joined Matt and Raven in the kitchen, and this is really freaking bizarre. Jason says to them, this is hard to follow too, so let me see. Jason tells Matt and Raven that Kevin told him that Cody went to Kevin and asked him to throw a vote at Raven this week so that it wouldn't be a clean sweep against Jess. I hope that wasn't too confusing. Um, but this is... First of all, wrong and really interesting because Cody actually approached Jason directly. It happened when they were um, pulling down the awnings in the backyard and Jason was all like, maybe. Well, actually, he told Cody, like, yeah, it's going to happen. But then they decided later, like, no. Well, Paul decided for Jason, no, you're not doing that. So I don't recall Cody ever actually having a conversation like that with Kevin. He did tell Jess that he was planning on it, but then there was that whole fight with Josh that afternoon, and I don't think Kevin and Cody ever actually had that conversation. So why is Jason throwing Kevin under the bus like this? Like, it's really weird. Like, he's not really throwing him under the bus. I'd say he's, like, throwing him out of the car into the street. But, like, <laughs> he's not actively throwing him under the bus, but it's just, like, really weird that he would bring this up to them at all, and then that he would put Kevin in this situation. But great, now Raven's really never going to let this go. She's freaking pissed, and Jason's like, yeah, Cody wanted to make the vote 5-3. to three. What a tool bag. All right, so then a little while later, it's story time with everyone except for Cody in the money bedroom. Cody is by himself in the have-not room reading the Bible, and Jason is telling everyone about, like, a sex toy that he invented. And <laughs> he built it with his wife and his brother-in-law. Okay, I'm going to leave that where it is. So then eventually, the story time, sex stories and sex toy stories from Jason, it's just too much. Kevin can't take it anymore. So Kevin retreats to the kitchen where Cody is, and they start chatting a little bit. And Cody says, yeah, he's going to be competing hard for that safety in the temptation competition. And if he doesn't get it, he's just going to have to hope that his chip gets pulled to play in the power veto. Obviously, he knows he's the backdoor target this week. He's not dumb. So Kevin is asking, like, what's next for you and Jess? So <laughs> Cody says, oh, we're going to have a pretty good relationship outside of the house. Uh, we're going to go back and forth and visit each other for now. I'm sure, like, we're going to go to events together and stuff. Great. And then Kevin is saying, you know, they're going to go for you every week now, right? And Cody's like, yeah, obviously. Um... He says it's kind of crazy, though, because he would never actually go after Alex in this game. He wants her to go really far. But if she targets him, it's kind of like a waste of an HOH for her. And I have to agree to a certain extent. I think in any other season, it would be a waste because Cody is not going after Alex. And why are you going to take out somebody else's target? But in this season, oh, if Alex did not try to go for Cody, it would be a freaking disaster because everybody is playing for Paul right now, pretty much. So, yeah. All right. Um, anyway, Cody also lets, or sorry, Kevin also lets Cody know that they're planning on making Josh a have not if they get to decide so he can bother Cody. And Cody's like, it's fine, whatever. So then he explains to Kevin uh, what went down with the whole blow up earlier in the week. He's saying that was all planned on his part, the way he reacted, because he knew that if he blew up and got in Josh's face about it, Big Brother was going to, like, separate them and tell Josh to leave them alone. So he wanted to give Jess peace for her last few days in the house. So that's what that was. I don't know if I totally buy that. I think he was just really ticked off with Josh, too. But honestly, I don't know. I think if he really wanted to, he could have just blocked Josh out completely. So it'll be interesting to see what happens the next few days. Because Josh is planning on being 
annoying with Cody. So we'll see how he reacts to that. All right, so then Paul and Kevin were chatting in the Apple Lounge and Paul is like, hey Kevin, Raven just told me that Jason told her that Cody asked you to vote her out this week. So Kevin's just like, what the frick? Like somebody is lying here. Cody never asked me about that. Um, and again, I don't recall Cody actually talking to Kevin about it, just Jason. So Kevin is trying to figure out who's lying here. He thinks that maybe it's Raven and he doesn't suspect that Jason is the one that said this. Um, so he's just like, what the hell? Why is Raven coming at me like that? So then, moving on, Kevin gives Paul a recap of his conversation with Cody. And Kevin's just like, let's just freaking knock him out of here and get it over with. <laughs> All right. I don't think uh, Kevin is trying to work with Cody anymore. But he is talking to him, which is nice. So Kevin, uh, Cody's got somebody to talk to. He was a little bit social last night, too. He's talking to, like, Mark and Elena and stuff. And, like, trying to joke around with people a little bit. So, Paul tells Kevin that he's annoyed that he's probably being portrayed as an a-hole for playing so aggressively this season, especially with his whole feud with uh, Jess and Cody. Honestly, like, yeah, there have been moments where Paul took it way too far and, like, getting everybody to bully Jess and Cody, but I think it's more embarrassing for these other people who have just been doing whatever Paul wants this whole season. Like, that looks really bad on them. That's really sad. So then Josh joins them and Paul just sends him out immediately, which he does a lot. And um, I'm surprised that Josh isn't just like, what the hell? I thought we were on the same team. Because Josh is always saying to the cameras that Paul is one of his ride or dies. He says Paul and Christmas. So the fact that Paul is always kicking him out of these conversations, that's got to freaking hurt. But he does end up calling him back in pretty soon after and Kevin explains to him why Cody said that he blew up with him last week and Josh is just like mm, okay so then Kevin starts making the rounds uh he was talking to Mark Jason Christmas and Josh telling them all that Cody never approached him about voting for Raven so he does not want to get mixed up and all that and they're like yes we believe you and he's saying he doesn't know why Raven is saying this but guess what she's just relaying what Jason told her I don't know why Jason did that honestly I if you guys know, leave it in the comments. Um, so yeah, then there was a strategy chat in the money bedroom. Paul, Alex, Jason, Kevin, and Christmas. So that is one, two, three, four, five. So that's everybody in that group of six except for Josh. Um, so Paul brings up nominations again. And just to remind you, Alex was considering putting up Matt and Elena. But now Paul's like, mm, I don't know if that's really a good idea because that's people from two de different uh, showmances, so it's a little bit risky because they might get paranoid, they might get pissed off and decide that they're gonna group up together again and pull in Cody and they're gonna be a group of five and that's really dangerous for their group of six. So honestly, I don't think that the showmances would do that unless Paul told them to. I mean, at this point, Mark is freaking woke. He knows that everybody's just playing Paul's game right now. He knows what's up. Elena, I think, could be convinced possibly by Mark. Um, but at the same time, there's no way, no way Matt and Raven are going to turn on Paul. It's just not going to happen. So Alex is saying, like, okay, that makes sense. I guess I'm going to put up Mark and Elena. You know, there was a little bit of debate if it was going to be Mark and Elena or Matt and Raven, but Paul's saying, no, we need to keep Matt and Raven feeling comfortable so they don't freak out. They already put up Mark and Elena last week, and they're already, like, about it, so why not just put them up again and make sure that Matt and Elena, or Matt and Raven are staying calm? You don't want everybody to be, like, weirded out by you. So then they're talking about if Cody wins the Temptation competition and he's safe for the week. Um, who are they going to get rid of? And they're saying Mark or Elena, blah, blah, blah. And the group all agrees, of course. All right, so then Alex gets her HOH room. Her music was Kendrick Lamar. She got tons of Coke, the soda. And this is weird. Like, she got all her snacks and stuff. But this is weird. She got pictures of her with her ex, and her letter was from her ex. And the letter sounded very much like he wants to be with her. I don't know. He was all like, I love you. And, <laughs> I don't know. And she was like really, really excited about it. So they were just like, Alex, are you sure you're broken up? <laughs> are you sure? <laughs> Apparently they were together for like two years and they've only been broken up for like three months. So who knows? Maybe they'll get back together. 
Good for you. Okay. So then, there was a strategy chat, blah, strategy chat, up in the HOH room, and it was Alex, Jason, Josh, Matt, Raven, and Paul. And Alex is saying, of course, Cody's the number one target this week, and they want to backdoor him. They don't want to give him a chance to win the power veto. <laughs> Bless you. So then they're saying, you know, the order of eviction. If they can't go for Cody, they're going to go for Elena. And if for some reason Elena's not available, they're going to go for Mark. So then they're talking about the temptation competition, and Matt says, I have absolutely no problem with throwing it. Of course you don't. So he's like, yeah, I'll go up on the block as the third nominee, whatever. Paul says, I'm cool with throwing it too. No, he's not. <laughs> no freaking way. Um, but then he says, this is a big butt. But, you know, I would like to go for it so that Cody has a smaller chance of winning it. And Matt's like, yeah, that makes sense. I mean, between the two of us, you probably have a better chance of winning it than me, so I'll just throw it. You go ahead and try to win it. And Paul's like, okay, cool. <laughs> Thanks, bro. Um, so then a lot of the house guests were up pretty late, but it was a lot of goofing around. So moving on this morning. <laughs> oh, thank God for this morning. Cody and Josh were alone in the kitchen, and <laughs> Josh was definitely trying to be annoying. Cody was just like making his coffee or whatever. Josh is singing and whistling and dancing and like banging on the counters, and he's like, tch, 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 tch. he's dancing around, and then um, he's even like dancing with a broom at one point, which he keeps dropping on the floor. <laughs> he's no Fred Astaire, and at one point. He slips and busts his ass on the floor. <laughs> and we can laugh about it because he's okay. He's fine. But it was just so funny. He was like, oh, F. <laughs> Cody, oh my God. If I was Cody, I would have literally peed in my pants. <laughs> okay? It was ridiculous. But I guess he was just so focused on what he was doing. He did not react at all. But Josh, I got to give it to him. After that fall, he just kept going. He was all, ch ch <laughs> he got right back in it, so it was pretty funny. I ha I'm gonna be honest here, I had to go back and rewatch it a few times just because it was so. Oh my god. Alright, back to game talk. There was a powwow in the Apple Lounge, and this time it was the full six Paul, Alex, Jason, Kevin, Josh, and Christmas. I still can't believe there's only like one alliance this whole season who have actually given themselves a name and that would be Paul and Alex and I don't even remember what they're called because like it was so dumb and they never talk about it but how are there like no alliance names it's really annoying too because I have to keep listing like a million names in a row Blah. so Christmas is like you know what I want to be the one to throw the temptation competition because I want to help the team out she hates not being able to compete she hates feeling like she's being carried by everybody because she can't pull her weight in competitions. So they're like, no, stop. Um, they would rather have Matt throw it. They're more comfortable with having her as a vote this week as opposed to Matt because you never know what the showmances are going to do. They could like, again, they're really nervous about the showmances grouping up again and being a group of five. So they're like, no, Christmas, just do your thing. They're also saying, like, if you were to throw it, um, what if Cody gets pulled to play in the power veto and it's a physical power veto? Like, they're going to need strong people to beat Cody in the power veto competition. So they're like, you know what? You just relax. Don't you worry. And Christmas is just like, ah! <laughs> she was telling Kevin how she, like, freaking rips people's souls out of their bodies again. Like, that's not the first time I've heard her say that. It's really weird. That's, like, a really weird comparison to make, but okay. So then the feeds go down for the DOT decision, you know, when they call everybody into the den of temptation one by one to drink the nasty ass drink if they're going to compete. And uh, I'm assuming everybody's playing except for Alex, the HOH, and Christmas, who is injured. Um, that's kind of annoying that they never say who's competing. Like, we have to wait until the show to actually find out because even after it's done we don't necessarily always hear who competed but whatever so then there was a little bit of drama when the feeds came back raven and matt were in the bathroom she's like laying down with her head in his lap and she's like i feel so sick and i guess she like threw up and she's upset because people may have heard her throw up who freaking cares i used to puke all the time for my anxiety and i didn't give a shit if people heard it i was like whatever <laughs> who cares 
I feel like when you puke a lot, it, it's not important. But anyway, um, other than that, in the Apple Lounge, there were a bunch of people in there. Mark, Josh, Paul, Elena, Christmas, and Kevin. And Mark and Josh are going back and forth talking about Josh hitting on Elena. People are, you know, chiming in if it's appropriate or not. And Mark's like, I don't freaking care. Elena and I are not dating. So, like, if you want to do that, go ahead. But if we were dating, uh-uh, you would not be doing that. Ah! So, Josh is saying, what? Elena's beautiful, but <laughs> he says he's not going to act on it because he knows that Mark has a crush on her. And again, Mark is like, we're not together. I don't care. Blah, blah, blah. It was so stupid and it was annoying. But, you know, Elena was freaking loving that. She's like, oh, don't fight over me. Oh, my God. Okay, so then <laughs> there was a little bit more strategy chat up in the HOH room. Paul, Alex, Jason, Matt, and Raven. Wah! Uh, more debate about who should be the one to throw the temptation competition. And also, who's going to go? Who's going to be the new target if Cody is safe? I don't think anything really changed here, so I'm not going to go in depth with it. You know, they like to freaking waffle a ton before things actually happen. So it sounds like at this point, the plan is for Matt to throw the temptation competition if it is a mental one. And if it's an athletic competition, they want Josh to throw it. Okay, so, <laughs> I guess. So then, uh, Mark and Elena are the plan for nominations. And then the feeds went down just before 12.30 p.m. for the temptation competition. And who knows when they're gonna be back. Um, the last few weeks, it's taken quite a while to get through these competitions because they've all been individually timed so far. Well, all meaning two. This is the last, the third and last one. So I'm assuming this one will also be individually timed, but you never know. Um, I'm thinking they're also going to be having nominations tonight. That's how they've been doing it. And uh, if you guys want to check back later for the results, we will put them in the info box below. Let me know in the comments who you're rooting for for the temptation competition. I want to see Cody win because I want to see some scrambling. But you guys let me know. And until tomorrow, much love.